everybody. Uh, my name is, for those of you who don't know, my name is Michael Forrest, and it's Go Time. Now, Go Time is an event for Oculus Go users, but all are welcome. So if you're on another device, feel free to hang out. You might pick up some useful information that helps the, you know, the many, many, many uh, Go users that are in all space, because there are a lot of them. Um, before we can go, and if I can direct your attention to the menu wheel on your lower left, you're going to notice that this microphone icon at the top. When that is clear, we can hear everything that's happening in your environment. With little, like this many people, it can be a, you know, a little distracting there. Uh, also, you know, if somebody comes into your space and says, you know, hey, are you still on that thing? Feel free to answer them because we've gone ahead and we've turned that to red. That means we're not going to be able to hear you uh, just yet. We will be taking questions and comments at the end. Um, you know, and if somebody, like, maybe you have a dog that starts barking in the background, you won't face social ruin back at the campfire by becoming known as the avatar that suddenly started barking during its go time, right? Now, you're going to notice that there's a, a pink cheap smiley face in your menu wheel. Uh, and when you press on that, it opens up a, a wide variety of options with which to express yourself. So if, for example, I say something really meaningful and it touches you down deep, right? You feel it building up, right? You can just let it out. You can just let it flow. Just let it out like that. Maybe, maybe I got some backup dancers backstage, right? And they come on out and they start dancing. We break on the, you know, break on it into it's go time the musical. And you're all very impressed. You can throw up the applause that I live for and I take a drink back a little because it feels good. All right, now, you can also smile to say yes. You can frown to say no. And if I say something funny, you feel like laughing, you can show me up some of these, uh, you know, those laughy emojis here. Uh, and then there's this. This is not how you ask a question. This is how you show me there's a problem. So if, for example, I'm going like this and I'm waving my hands and it looks like I'm talking, but you can't hear any sound, then you go like this. And if there's five of you going doing that, I'm going to, like, stop and go, what's going on? What's the problem? You know, uh, so if there's an emergency or something like that, like maybe this display here, maybe this burst in the flames, right? That actually happened one time because my moderators we used to give them Terraformer to do special effects. And then one day they do it would be funny to try to burn down the show while it was going on. And that's why I don't do that anymore. But yeah, that can, that's the kind of thing that can happen. And that's how you alert me that there's a problem. You can also press the X in the middle of the emoji panel to make that panel go away. But it's a good idea to keep it open during events like this because, you know, uh, you know, it gives me some feedback, lets me know how I'm doing, but it also lets the people around you know what you're experiencing. So if the person next to you is going like that, that means that they found something funny, right? And you may not agree. You might be like, that's not funny at all. I'm going to go stand over here. And you can totally do that because this is VR. Pretty much stand where you want, right? Which is cool. All right. Now, uh, let's see. Yeah, that, that covers that. So let's get into it here. Um, now, this event mainly is going to be talking about some of the challenges that Oculus Go uh, users face in all space. Uh, and speaking of challenges, I've been in a bed for about the past uh, two years due to medical condition. Don't worry, it's getting a lot better. But when I first got my headset, I couldn't wait to get in here, right? Uh, you remember that feeling when you first put on the headset and that, you know, that feeling of being taken away to another place, how amazing that is? Uh, so, and I've been reading about Allspace for a while, so this was my first stop. And when I came in, the very first thing I did, I stepped out of the load screen and I looked up, right? And I saw that sky and it looked a lot like what I remember the sky looking like, right? So, you know, I was like, oh, well, I was super grateful for the experience. So I started volunteering pretty much right away. That's like the very first day I was in here. And I would go to, you know, moderate events and stuff. And I would find that I wouldn't be able to make it to the end of the event because I'd run out of power, right? And I'm sure it's happened to a lot of you guys where you, your battery runs out. Um, and mine was running out like super quick. And so I started asking around. I was like, there's got to be something I can do to make this better. And I started hearing some stuff, right? I started hearing, like, for example, that, you know, this laser pointer here. I wouldn't, they told me on an Oculus scale, I wouldn't be able to use that. And you know what? That turned out to not be true. These slides up here, right? I was told that on an Oculus Go, uh, I wouldn't be able to use those. And it turned out to not be true. I was also told that despite having a background presenting material like this, that, uh, you know, my device wasn't reliable enough for me to host events. And that turned out to not be true. I've been hosting events for a long time. Most of that time has been on an Oculus Go, right? And it worked out really well. Uh, uh, you know, and it told me that there was a huge disconnect between like what people thought it was like to be on the go and the reality of that experience, right? Um, you know, and it's, uh, you know, and we're gonna, that's mainly what we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, there's two routes you can take, because it's not to say there aren't problems being on the go, there absolutely are, but most of these problems you can solve, right? And the ones that you can't, you can at least manage, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, all right? There's two routes you can take. One, you can, uh, you can you start with the device that's already on your head, and we're gonna go over some stuff before you leave here today. You're gonna learn some stuff to improve your experience. Uh, you can also 
upgrade your experience to exceed the limitations of your device. And I say it that way, those of you who have been here before, you know that I can't stand that term, right? Because listen, if you hear somebody say every day, I hate your shirt, I don't like your shirt. After a little while, you're gonna start thinking, you know what, it's not my shirt they don't like, right? You know, uh, so you know, and it's important to remember there's another word that gets tossed around in all space a lot, and that's communities. There's a lot of like diverse communities represented in all space. And you know, um, one thing you gotta keep in mind when you hear that, right? is that you are not your device any more than you're your house or your car. Your device is just a vehicle that brings you into VR, right? And honestly, if you're starting out on the go, you're very lucky, right? Because if I, I'm on a quest now, but if I started out on a quest, I don't think I would have stayed, right? On the go, you don't have to worry about the vertical movement. You don't have to worry about the complexity of two controllers. It's a really great introduction to VR, right? And, you know, it's, it's a fantastic device. It really is, even now, you've been out for a while, you know, but it's, it's still, just really, I feel about the go the way most people feel about their first cars, right? All right, now let's get into it. Now let's start with the device you already have on your head, right? Uh, you got to have, uh, keep in mind that our devices, they lose power even when they're not in use. So if you put it down on a table at night, right? You got 100% power. By morning, that power is going to be less because your device is doing stuff when you're not using it. It's looking for uh, updates to apps. It's looking to update the firmware. Maybe it's got a pen pal on the other side of the world, right? Maybe it's got a whole secret life you didn't know anything about, right? But you're going to notice that the lower your charge is, the, right, the worse your device is going to perform. So if you come into all space with 20% power, you're going to notice that your screen is going to flicker a little bit. What you want to do is you want to come in on a full charge, and that requires some advanced planning. So like, for example, like, what am I going to do tonight? I open up, you know, the event calendar in all space. I go to allvr.com. I'm out in the real world. I'm like, oh, what's going on in all space tonight? And you see, you know, they got an event called go time. And you're like, oh, I've heard great things about the host. He's got fantastic hair. He's got that shirt you're starting to see everywhere, right? And that's what I want to do. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your device is plugged in about an hour before you come into VR, right? This way you start out on 100% battery charge, right? And you come in that way, right? All right, so uh, let's see. Now, you're going to, when you first get your headset on, when you first put it on, the very first thing you should do, make this a habit, right, is that, but, that button that you press to turn it on, press and hold that button for about four seconds or so, and you're going to see these three buttons appear in the air in front of you right? And the middle button, that's the restart button. And when you press that, it's going to restart the device and it's going to uh, clear out all the temporary files from all the updates. And it's going to really start out in the best condition performance wise. So you come in, you got hundred percent power, you know, and I like the, that resetting thing. I like to think of that as clearing my mind before I come into all space. So hundred percent power, mind is clear, step into that load screen, right? And when you come in, in, in all space, you may have noticed what an important role body language plays in here, right? Like you notice if you come to an event like this and maybe one of the moderators comes up to you and they're going, they're going like this and they're shaking their head back and forth like that. And you know, that means don't do that thing, right? Or maybe for example, I'm going like this and I'm waving my hand like this. And you know, somebody makes it up on the stage and I'm going like this, you know, that means stay off of the stage, right? But you know, uh, occasionally what's going to happen on a, on a go is your real world hand is going to be right here, but your avatar's hand is going to be up here. And what that can do is like, so if I'm waving my hand, get off my stage, what you guys are actually seeing is my avatar's hand going like this. And it looks like I'm saying, Hey everybody, welcome to go time. And I'm not saying that I'm saying stay off the stage. It's a very dangerous place, trained professional. All right. So what can happen here is uh, what you're going to want to do right, is you're going to notice that on your controller, you've got just below your trackpad, you've got two buttons. Now, don't do this now, because if you disappear, I'm going to feel it down deep right here. But uh, that very bottom button, right, if you were to press that one time, it's going to take you out to the Oculus main menu. You've got to think of that like your eject button, right? Now, the eject button, when you press that, it's going to happen as you disappear, right? You go uh, out to the Oculus main menu. Somebody just did it. Everybody always does. I don't know why. I say don't do it, but they do. You press that bottom button, and you're confronted with a question to quit or resume. If you press resume, like maybe you press that button by accident, you get taken right back into all space. But this button does something else. If you hold your hand straight out like this at your side, like that, you know, kind of like at an angle, and you look with your head straight ahead, and you press and hold that button and down for about four seconds, and this you can do now, what's gonna happen is your hand, you're gonna see a white circle spin in the air, and your hand is gonna snap into place. And then take a look at your hand and ask yourself, is this where my hand is in the real world right now? If it is, then you're good. Right? If not, what you're going to want to do is do it again until you feel comfortable. Only you can determine what feels comfortable for you, but this is going to help improve your body language. And when you, you know, improve your body language with that, it's going to improve your connections with people in all space, you know, and it definitely helps, uh, you know, to have your hand lined up where it actually is in the real world, right? That can be super useful. Uh, all right, so now uh, another thing that can happen in all space is you're going to notice from time to time that your main menu button, those collection circles in your lower left, occasionally you're going to notice that that moves around. Right. And sometimes it's not convenient to reach where it's moved to, like maybe it's moved behind you. 
right? Or maybe it's just like moved up in front of you and it's a little uncomfortable because it's making you feel off balance because you're used to it being in a particular spot. What you can do is if you look straight ahead, understand that on your trackpad, right, just below that is a button, right? And that button that's just below the trackpad, if you hold that out, if you press it one time, your main menu is going to open up in front of you. Turns out that you don't actually, as a Go user, you don't actually have to press that blue button in your lower left to open your main menu. All you have to do is just press that middle button on your controller. When you press that, your main menu opens up in front of you. And if you're looking straight ahead and you press it again, your main menu is going to close. And when your main menu closes like that, uh, what's going to happen is that's going to reset where your menu wheel is on your screen. So if you're looking straight ahead and you press that button one time, you're going to notice that it corrects this issue. All right. Uh, so, you know, that'll help you reset or re recenter your, uh, your view there. All right. Now, uh, let's see here. You also have a, um, oh, wait, I lost that. Oh, weird. Okay, cool. No worries. No worries. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, so let's see. We have also occasionally one of the best pieces of advice I ever received when I first started out and I was having those problems with the power. The best piece of advice I got is somebody told me to turn down my brightness and I didn't want to do it because when I, when I came in here, I wanted to have the best graphic experience I possibly could have, right? And to me, that meant having my brightness turned all the way up, right? Retina burning levels. I mean, to the point where it was painful. But, you know, I kept running out of power, so I figured I'd give it a try. So I went in at the Oculus Bay menu on the right side, you got this tab that says settings, and you press on that, and about in the middle there, you've got for brightness, press on brightness, and you make sure you have auto brightness turned off, and there's this big blue bar there that shows you what the brightness is at. And every time I came into alt space, I turned it down a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more, until eventually there was no more blue left at all, right? And what happened was, uh, I came into alt space with my brightness turned all the way off, and I couldn't believe what I saw. Back then, I used to uh, moderate this event, and it was held in this place that had this tree, right? And to go up to that tree, and I'm looking at that tree, and I couldn't believe why it, so it looked more realistic than any. Well, what's going on here? Is there something wrong? I'm going to stop just for you, but I, let's see. I'm going to unmute everybody real quick. You're not feeling it? What's up? Go ahead. Okay. Well, oh, all right. You disappeared. All right. That must have been pretty bad. All right. Let's get everybody to get I don't know what that was. Man, all weird. right. Cool. I don't know what that was. All right. Weird. Uh, all right. So. Let's see what happened. Wait, is, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. Yeah, what's Did up? you hear that? Somebody just said you no. were doing a wonderful job. Oh, I am? Oh, wow. Thank you, everybody. How's my hair? Is my hair good? Is my hair good? 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 All right. Awesome. All right. So they thought, you know, so when I came in, I couldn't believe how realistic that tree looked. I was, I was really, you know, like just blown away by it. And, you know, the best thing about that is when you turn your brightness all the way off like that, your battery is going to last longer. But not only that, your device is going to perform better. You're going to have better graphics and your battery lasts longer. So it's, it, it's a win to just do it. Turn down your brightness all the way, and it's going to improve things right away. Uh, now, also, you have, listen, Go users in all space, sometimes they get a bad reputation, and let me tell you why, right? The microphones in the Go are incredibly powerful, which is a good thing. But in all space, like when the sound comes out of your ear straps and it gets picked up by a microphone, it comes out of your avatar. But in all space, we don't know what we sound like. I was in all space for close to a year before I knew what I sounded like in here. Uh, very recently, a couple months ago, was the first time I heard it. Because we just got a, a YouTube channel. If you look up, you'll see uh, Raven and I hovering up over there. We film these events. So in uh, about a week or so, this event's going to go out on YouTube, right? So if you wave to the camera right now, you get a chance to feel all space famous. We got we got Connor here. We got Savage Rapper down here in the ground. We got Julius. Everybody wave on out to YouTube. Hey, YouTube, how's it going? Come on in all space and see us. It's nice in here. All right, everybody. Let's see. But yeah, you can totally do that. That's cool. Wave at the camera. Good times. But we we don't know what we sound like, right? So like you could be coming into the campfire as a new user and you see a group of avatars standing over there and they're talking to their friends, right? And you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to go over and see what they're talking about. And all of a sudden, that group of avatars, right, they're standing here talking to like, hey, Cordell, what's going on? How you been, right? Hey, Humberg, nice to see you, right? And all of a sudden, they turn and they look at you, right? And you haven't said a word, right? But they're going like this and they start moving toward you and they go, are you on a go? Or you want to go and that doesn't feel good when that happens right uh and the reason they're doing it because they're standing here they're talking to a friend and all of a sudden you know i'm talking to let's see i'm talking to savage rapper here and i'm like you know what's going on how you been and we're talking back and forth and all of a sudden i hear a voice and that voice is incredibly familiar so i turn to see what's going on and i realize it's my voice coming out of somebody else's avatar right what's going on here julius what's going on you're not liking the material let's see i'm gonna unmute everybody real quick what's going on julius what's what's so important something wrong I just wanted to, um, never mind, I'll ask at the end. Uh, okay, cool. All right, no worries. No worries at all. All right, so what happens is you've got this incredibly set microphone, right? And that mic and the sound's coming out, 
you know, from there. This is really easy to fix when this happens. So if you got this feedback issue and people come up to you like, are you want to go? Right, what happens is there's also a sound delay. So they're hearing their own voice coming out of your avatar as it was in the past. This is tough to deal with. So the way, what you want to do is you've got two buttons on the very top of your headset on the left-hand side. The leftmost button is the volume down button. The button next to that is the volume up button. And whenever you press either of these, you're going to see these vertical bars appear in the air. Some will be solid, some will be clear. What you're going for is you want four clear bars on the right-hand side, right? And what that's going to do is it's going to set the volume at a level where the microphone's not going to pick it up at easy. Uh, but this comes as kind of a trade-off because what you have to do is occasionally you're going to strain to hear people. Like, you know, like, what did you say? What did you say? Right? And what can happen is, you got to remember, you still have one good hand in the real world, right? You know, because, you know, like they give us the one hand just to keep it fair, right? But that hand that you have in the real world, what you can do is you hold it up to your ear and you cup it. If you do this now, take your left hand, hold it up to your ear like that, and you're going to notice my voice gets louder, right? So that's a way to temporarily turn up the sound to hear you a little bit better. One good thing that you can do, though, is by putting a pair of ear uh, headphones on, right? And that will ensure the only voice coming out of your avatar is your own. You can even use a pair of inexpensive earbuds. In my case, my wife went to the library. She got, like, an uh, audio book, and they gave her a free uh, set of earbuds. And she came home, and she's like, look what I got, right? And I was like, oh, that's cool. And they suddenly disappeared, right? But good news, they reappeared a short time later, right, uh, attached to my headset, and they remain there to this day. All right. And after that, the only sound coming out of my avatar was my own. Occasionally, you'd still hear my wife saying, are you still on that thing? And, you know, uh, we fixed that, too. We got her headset, and now she's in VR with us. She helps moderate. You know, she puts on, you know, she builds worlds. She's a very talented world builder. Really good stuff. We're lucky to have. All right. Now, uh, let's see. Another thing you could do. This got me thinking. All right. When I added that, those earbuds, I was like, what else can I add to my device that's going to make it perform better? All right. What other problems can I solve like this? All right. So I started doing some research, you know, because at this point, you know, uh, you know, so it was you know, learning more about, you know, how to solve some of these problems. And I wanted to see, and I came up with what I call a Go Plus experience. Now, to talk about this, I'm going to have to talk about these products up here, but these are not the only products that work. I like to say that these are just the ones that I use and I feel comfortable recommending. But if you want to try another, you know, another product, please do, because it's the ideas behind these products that matter, right? Like, you know, so some of the ones that we're going to talk about, you know, like may find one that's like, you know, cheaper or maybe in a better color. You know, that doesn't matter. What matters is like it's the ideas and the concepts behind it. All right. Now, and the temptation is going to be to write this stuff down. Don't worry about it. We made it super easy to find. If you go to allvr.com and you see like on the upper left down, you're going to see uh, where it says channels. You're going to see all these all space event channels. You'll see Raven Hall events like it says at the sound booth up there. And if you press on that, you're going to see all these products on the left-hand side, so it's easy to get to. You'll also see a join Discord button if you want to, you know, help us put on events like this. You know, we always, you know, take, you know, volunteers and stuff to help out. Uh, you'll also see the very most, the most important button on the Internet. You'll see the subscribe button. And we don't get paid to do this, so whenever we see that number go up, we, like, it makes us feel good. And it lets Allspace know that you guys enjoy our content and encourages them, you know, to try to, you know, put on more stuff like this, which is cool. All right. Wow. Look at that. Savage Rep is really getting into the camera. You got to be like kind of on the rug for you to be seen by the camera, though, because it's kind of zoomed in, so it's not seen right. You got to come up close to the stage if you want to be famous. That'd be all space famous. All right, all right. So let's talk about some of these what these products do here. All right. Now the first one is this. Uh, now Oculus tells us not to use their devices for the plug-in, but they say uh, we can use an external battery pack. So what I found was this uh, Anchor Power Core battery pack right up here. Uh, it's got two USB ports. And it's supposed to last 16 hours. And I'm like, I'm never going to need to be in VR for 16 hours. I like food. I like sleep. You know, water's good too, right? And when I got this, I also got this cable that plugs into it. It's a MagSafe cable. Because uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but when you plug in your device, what happens is, you know, it's very tight, right? And you go to you go to pull on it, you know, on it, and all this taking in and out, all the wear and tear, it doesn't make like as a good connection. I heard, heard people were having problems charging their devices. And over time, you know, it wears down. So this MagSafe cable, you put one tip in your device and it just like it just stays there, right? And the other one uh, goes into the battery pack and it's held in place by a magnetic connector. This is also a great safety feature because if you move your head and it pulls on that wire, rather than pull the headset down and get that horrible like you know that you know like yanking feeling, right? Um, you know it'll just pop off and you don't even got to come out of VR to fix it. You can just pick up the cable, right? Hold it up next to your, your headset there and it'll just like pop into place because of the magnet. And when it does, it makes this thunk sound. If you have your microphone open, your friends would be like, what was that? Right? And you'd be like, that's power. That's what that was. You don't have to say that. It doesn't make it work any better. I just thought it was cool to do. All right. Now, when I did this, it solved my power problem. I stopped, you know, uh, I stopped running out of power. I started lasting longer in VR. But I found out, right, that uh, at that point, I started to overheat. Anybody here have them overheating issues? Right? Where you overheat all the time? It's different for everybody because the faceplate on the Oculus goes installed by hand. 
So some people last about a half hour. So I knew one guy that overheated every two minutes. The very first go time we ever had when we got to the end, when we take the questions, uh, what happened was there was a guy who was half of his headset has actually become pushed in because it had actually melted from the heat. And it's concerned me. I, I, it scared me. I want to fix this. And I had heard that some people were using ice packs. They were putting ice packs on their headset, right? And this isn't a good thing to do because uh, condensation, water, electricity on your face, not a good combination. And the people I know that, I, that did this actually went through more than one headset. So there's, uh, but there's a better way to do this. Uh, what we do is we came up with the, uh, what we call the, this is the AC Infinity USB mini fan. It's real small. It fits in the palm of your hand, right? Uh, and what happens is you put this on the front of your device and you hold it in place by, like, you can use, like, hair bands. You can use a string, you know, or anything like that. However you get it on, you want to make sure that this silver part is facing the faceplate. And the other end, the USB tip plugs into the battery there. And um, when I first came in with it to try it out, see how it would work, uh, you know, you know the meditation space. I was at the meditation space. I was set to moderate that day. Really great space, and it's not like you know, uh, smoke coming up from these bowls. It's like fog. It's on top of a mountain. Really beautiful job. And uh, you know, when I went there, uh, you know, I come in with the fan on and all this stuff, and you know, to test it out. Because whenever I was working in that space as a moderator, I would uh, I would come in and I and I oh, I would overheat exactly 20 minutes in an experience. It was always 20 minutes, so it was a great place to test it out. So in the beginning, I went up to the host, Jeremy, really nice guy, and I asked him, I said, hey, um, can you hear my fan at all? And I had it down on the lowest setting because I can't hear it at all. No, you're good. And then I turned it up to medium, right, to test it. I said, can you hear this? And he says, a little bit, but it's not that bad. Then I turned it up to full, right, and what happened was uh, he goes, oh, I can definitely hear that. You sound like you're in a wind tunnel. I'm like, okay, okay. I turned it all the way down. Spoiler, I never had to turn it up again. I went through the entire event. I right, didn't overheat once, and I wanted to see where the line was. So I went to another event. And didn't overheat once during that event. Then I went to another one, all right, three events in a row. And then I went back to my home space. I hung out with my friends, long as I'd ever been in Allspace. I was like, wow, I can't believe it. And then it happened. For the very first time, I left Allspace because I was tired. Not because I had to. I didn't leave because I ran out of power. I didn't leave, you know, because, you know, my device overheated. I left because I actually wanted to. And it was the first time that ever happened. It had never happened before, and it wouldn't be the last time. I, after that, I started going all over the place in all space. I started moderating events. I started hosting events. I was everywhere, right? And, and my device was super reliable. And that's why I call it a Go Plus experience, because what it would happen was I'd go into worlds that were super performant, uh, you know, that were not very performant, rather, and I would see other avatars disappear into the ground or disappear entirely as they crashed, right? But I would still remain. It would get a little choppy sometimes, but my device became super reliable, all right? And yours can, too. You just got to make a few small, small changes. None of this stuff's expensive. You've got the mini fan here is about uh, 10 or 11 dollars us this cable here is about seven dollars us the uh the most uh, expensive thing is the battery that's about 50 60 dollars us but they do come in different sizes capacities you know colors and all that kind of stuff so there's different prices you can find out what works best for you all right now uh let's see now that being said there were still some problems right being on the go and these problems are more like annoyances that can be managed the first one i'm going to talk about is let's say i turn to the left to say something in the bot right and uh, what happens is, you know, instead of turning left, I move straight, right? And I think, that's really weird, right? I didn't like that. didn't feel good, right? And I go to say something to court, turn right, tell Cordell about it. But instead of turning right, I go straight again. And I'm like, well, that was strange. And I go to back up and I press down on my controller. But instead of going backwards, I go straight again. What was that? So I start bashing all these buttons. No matter what I do, I keep moving straight. It's the absolute worst. I can't stop. And the next thing you know, I'm standing inside of an admin. There is nothing more frightening than standing inside of an admin, right? I saw things. I saw the past. I saw the future. I saw things I can't talk about. I really can't. I still have, I have dreams about it. It's frightening. What you can do to fix this, if this happens to you, right, is you take your thumb and you swipe it gently across the trackpad from right to left, left to right, doesn't matter. Just go swipe, 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 very gently without pressing down, and lift your thumb up, cross over to the other side, Come down and swipe again. So it's like swipe, 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 and then press the direction that you want to go, and you'll be moving around in the ways you want to. It kind of resets the connection. All right, I'm told I'm running a little bit over on time, right? I do have some stuff, uh, other stuff to do with that, but I can go a little bit long if you want. But let's open up the questions right now and see uh, see what you got here. Uh, let's see. So you're going to see a raise hand button appear on your lower right. If you have a question or comment or anything like that, right? Just, uh, you know, press that, and maybe we'll get some of this other stuff. All right, let's see who we got here. We got Jesse. Jesse, you got a question? You're on the air. I feel like a radio host when I say that. Jesse, where are you? Where are you? 
There you are, Jesse. I see you. What's up? Sorry, I just had to click the request on on my mic. Uh, you might no have problem. This, but What's is, up? is the uh, could you post a link to the product, like the most common product page on like the 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 mag cable or the USB fan on the Discord? Uh, it's we can have it on the Discord, but it, we already have it up on uh, allvr.com. All those products are on the left hand side. So if you go oh, to all, okay. allvr.com and you go to channels, you'll see Raven Hall events. And there on the left hand side of the page, you'll see all of these products, the links, you know, and we also have the join discord button. We've got a discord. I think it's on this side of the stage. This is a, this is a discord mm-hmm. channel or YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look. That's the discord. It is a discord. All right, cool. Yeah. So we got that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Awesome. All right. So let's see what else do we have. Uh, we have, let's see, we have G man. Thumb. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, we have G man. Thumb. I think I'm saying that right. We have G man. Thumb. I think I'm saying that right. Or thorn maybe, you know, thumb, G man, thumb, G man. Let's call you G man. Yeah, you so, know what? They, it's not your fault. They when in the, the uh, panel they give me, they cut off your name, so I only see half of it, and I gotta kind of guess, right? So I'm just gonna call you G-Man if that's okay. What's going on, G-Man? How are you? Everybody, G-Man, check it out. What's your question? Oh, you're muted. Oh no, you mute yourself again? All right, let's see if you still on the list. Oh, you are. Okay, let's put you back. All right, cool. There we go. All right, you're on microphone. Don't write, mute, don't mute yourself. What do you got? All right. Are you using the fan right now? Um. I'm not because I've, I've switched over to a quest now, um, but I oh, did yeah, use the yeah, fan right. for a number of months. I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, actually, Hummingbird, would you mind saying something? Because Hummingbird uses that very same fan. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me get you. Ra- raise your hand, Hummingbird. Let's let, let show everybody what this sounds like. Let me show everybody how, how nice the sound is. Ra- press that raise hand button. There we go. All right. Now you're on the air, Hummingbird. Let's show everybody. And say something? Anything. Uh, uh, yes, I'm using the fan because I had to. I kept on All right, eating. cool. All right, uh-huh. cool. Does anybody hear that fan noise? It's nice and quiet. Nope. We're nice, clear and noise, I have right? It on the low. It's on the lowest I, setting. I, I, That's important. You've got to keep it on settings, the lowest setting. But, and uh, I haven't had a problem at all. See? You, know, you won't overheat again if you use that fan. All right, and it plugs Should in. Should I turn it, it on a little higher to see if you can hear it? No, don't mess with it. Oh, okay. Don't mess with it. You should never turn it up from low because that's all you need. You'll no, never overheat it. I have it that. on the, the very lowest. All right, everybody. Listen, I'm a little over on time. So what I'm going to do is it's time for that big red button. I love pressing this thing. It's still kind of new. Has it worn off? Can we unmute? Yeah. Can we unmute? Wait, what did you say? Fury? Can we unmute everyone? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, it's a good idea. Please, let's, let's, let's unmute everybody this way. You know, if you want to say wow or holy cow, that's cool. You can say Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take off the stage blocker here. Maybe everybody can come up here and help me press that button. All right? Come on over here. All right? And just, like, lean in this button. Sometimes it sticks. All right? To give it a good shove. Right? Everybody on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Push. Raven Hall Talon oh, Aircraft in route to your position. Here it comes. Oh, oh, oh. There. there we go. Now you're going to see it going up over the trees. All right. Now it's coming out in the backyard. Let's go meet it. Come on, everybody, let's head out. <laughs> if you learned anything here today, please share it with everybody to come in contact yeah, with, because really that's how we keep this thing going. Here it comes, should be coming down about now. There it is. Yeah, it is cool, right? I love that thing. All right, now this is gonna take us flying, so if you guys wanna learn how to fly yet, you know. Talon Aircraft is now boarding outside for transport to the Raven Hall Flight Academy. <laughs> please hey guys, exit the building and step button. into the blue light. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>